Velkommen til 21 nyhetene. Dette er overskriftene. Stephen Hawking skal fortelle oss om det sorte hull, supermassivt sorte hull. Men først, en liten video. For a few million years, fusion and gravity are locked in standoff. But when the star runs out of fuel, fusion stops and the stalemate ends. Gravity wins. In a millisecond, the core shrinks to a fraction of its original size, and a baby black hole is born. Immediately, it starts to cannibalize what's left of the star. As matter swirls into the black hole, it gets incredibly hot, and there are magnetic forces and frictional forces, and it's just a witch's brew, a, a nightmare of what's going on right above the surface of the black hole. The new black hole in the middle keeps feeding on the body of the star around it. It eats the gas so fast, it chokes and coughs, blasting out huge beams of energy. They basically eat their way out from the star. This happens in milliseconds. It happens before the rest of the star even knows the core is gone. And so basically, the star is dead before it hits the ground. Finally, the star explodes. In one second, it blasts out a hundred times more energy than our sun will produce over its entire life. What's left is a new black hole and two jets of energy hurtling through the universe at the speed of light. These jets are called gamma ray bursts. They're incredibly energetic events. In terms of raw energy and power, gamma ray bursts are second only to the Big Bang itself. Most of them last only a few seconds, and they fry anything in their way. They're so intense that if there was a gamma ray burster in the region of our galaxy near our solar system, it could literally vaporize the entire planet. Fortunately, most gamma ray bursts occur outside our galaxy. But they tell us something important about black holes and how our universe works. What we were seeing every time a gamma ray burst went off was basically the birth cry of a black hole. By counting gamma ray bursts, astronomers can figure out how many black holes are being created. In 2004, NASA launched the Swift probe to scan the universe for gamma ray bursts. Da ser det over til Stian i Washington. Nå er jeg i Washington DC med Stephen Hawking. Hello Stephen Hawking. Can you tell us about the supermassive black hole? Here you go. Earthly make. Much of my work has been concerned with the mysteries of black holes. Many people dismiss black holes as just an artifact of the theory which wouldn't exist in the real world. But then observers began to find things in the sky which were just as peculiar. Dette er Knut Jørgen Ødegård. Nå skal han fortelle litt om det supermassive svarte hull. Hva ville ha skjedd hvis to sorte hull hadde møtt hverandre? Nei, det som ville ha skjedd da, er jo at muligens at et sort hull hadde blitt borte, eller begge hadde blitt til intuitivt. Takk for det. Kan en rød hypergigant bli sugd opp? Ja. For alt er gass unnslipper ikke, og ingen vet hvor gassen blir av når den har kommet bli sugd opp. Så ja, den kan bli sugd opp. Takk for samtalen.